One of the most important things I think that gets oftentimes overlooked by women is our mental health. And sometimes in life, you find yourself where you just need more. I've always been known as the person who's cheerful and happy and able to just kind of bounce back. Uh, but I went through something and I realized that there was no just bouncing back. Everything was different. Everything changed. And what used to be so important and the things that used to really satisfy me in life no longer did. And for a long time, I, I kind of just mucked my way through it trying to figure out, hey, I'll just bounce back like normal. Um, Coming from where I'm from, I didn't even really see people doing therapy or counseling. I didn't have access to it and, quite honestly, didn't think that it was anything I would ever need. I now know that being able to prioritize my mental health, my emotional health, is the make or break point for really having the life that I want. Um, we don't always get the things that uh, we go for, or the sometimes you have a dream about something and it doesn't end the way you think. And when you can't get through that, when you can't get back to being yourself, you have to have the opportunity to seek counseling, seek therapy, get tools that help you keep living. And that's why I love being a board member for the Dream She Dreams in Color Foundation. I, I think that giving marginalized women and people like myself who, again, never saw it and knew that there, the opportunities weren't there, giving them the opportunity to really move through trauma, move through pain, uh, move through abuse, and kind of come back to themselves. I can't think of anything more worthwhile to do. I'm so grateful for this foundation. I'm so grateful for the women that we are serving and the women that I serve with. And I would really love if you guys could donate, donate your money, donate your time, uh, and help us help other women.